Greetings, my beautiful, loveliest. Hi, it's Emmy. Welcome back to another Emmy Eats. Today, I'll be eating Rwanda. So this wonderful package of treats came to me from a longtime viewer named Miss B. Miss B, thank you so much for sending me this package. My apologies for the delay, but I am so excited to taste the things that you sent. So Miss B actually lives in the US, but her twin sister is a missionary in Rwanda and sent her a bunch of beautiful things and Miss B decided to share some of them with me. Also, before I even do the tasting, Miss B sent me some other treasures that I have to share with you. <laughs> And these are retro gelatin molds. I've done a couple experiments in jello already, including SpaghettiO jello and some weird green jello. And if you're interested in seeing those videos, I'll put the links down below as well. Ms. B also sent me this. <laughs> a giant unko plushie. Thank you. Unko emoji, unko emoji, emoji, unko unko. Yay for poop. Ms. B has totally outdone herself. She sent me something she made. I just, look. <laughs> Do you see that? Look guys, it's Winston. <laughs> it's Winston in the flesh. I am so excited about this. Look how beautifully Winston is made. He has a hand-drawn name tag beautiful shiny eyes, a lovely haircut, even has a part. Miss B, you've outdone yourself. He's perfect. I love him so much. So if you don't know who my dear friend Winston is, he came to me in my Emmy Eats Australia 4 video. I'll put all these links down below. And he is the crumb that was sitting on my lip in that video. And he makes routine, regular appearances. And here he is in the flesh. <laughs> so stinking cute. So now that we've done some fun stuff, let's go ahead and get to the taste. <laughs> the first thing I'm going to make is this. A Gorilla's Coffee Beyond Fair Trade Dark Chocolate Spice and Hint of Luscious Fruit. 100% um, Arabica Bourbon. So these are whole beans. I'm going to have to grind them. Doesn't smell overpowering fruity or anything. It smells just of coffee. Add a little bit of that to there. I'm going to add about a tablespoon of coffee in there. Add a little bit of hot water just to moisten the grounds. Wait a few seconds. Now I'm going to top it off. While that's dripping through, I'm going to give something else a taste. Let's try these. These are called the Winas, and they are original potato chips. Looks like this bag got a little bit squished. A thicker potato chip, kind of kettle cooked with lots of bubbles. And there's a little bit of potato peel still on there. Didaki malls. Mmm. -hmm. Good potato flavor and nicely seasoned, not overly salty. But I think some air got into this bag of chips. So it's missing that really familiar, wonderful crunch that comes with potato chips. The flavor is still quite good. It actually doesn't taste rancid or anything, it's just not as crunchy. Mm -hmm. It's like what happens when you open a bag of chips in the humid hot summer and then an hour later your chips are a little bit soggy. That's what these are like. They taste great. The texture's just wrong. Let's see how my coffee is doing. Oh yes. Let's give that a taste. Cheers. Ooh. It tastes like coffee but it's slightly different. It reminds me a bit of the coffee that you can have down in Louisiana coffee that has a little bit of chicory in it. It's still smooth and familiar, but it has just something else to it that's a little bit different. This is 100% coffee bean. I think it's just the type of coffee bean that's in there that makes it taste delicious. Let's try this sweet. This is called Snack King. Here it is. It's like a chocolate bar with little Rice Krispie bits in it. It looks kind of similar to a 100 gram bar, but it has some additional wafer in the middle. As you can hear, very, very crunchy. The chocolate flavor is pretty subtle. It tastes almost like chocolate cereal. You've got these crunchy bits on the outside, which are puffed and similar to Rice Krispies, but a little crunchier and a little bit smaller in diameter. It's very, very sweet and caramelly and less chocolatey than you might expect. Not bad. 
All right, let's chase it with a little bit of coffee. <laughs> and let's try this one. And these are called Happy Crisp. Happy Crisp, and these are onion flavored, and it says it's a puffed food. Oh yeah, there they are, like fries. So let's pour those out. They look like those kind of dried french fries. Wow, interesting. Much more heavily seasoned than I expected and a lot sweeter. It actually is more sweet to me than oniony. And there's just an ever slight spice to it. Just a little kind of tiny heat. And that's all on the outside of this crispy kind of fritter. That tastes fried and slightly potatoed. Very interesting. Let's try this one. It's called Snow Bars. Mispies Snow Bars. Ooh. And it looks kind of similar to like a, a Snickers bar or something. Although the drizzle pattern looks like it's more part of a chocolate mold rather than an actual kind of drip. Interesting, huh? All right, let's see what's inside. Oh, I think, I don't know why I was expecting caramel, but I think I was just programmed Snickers bar. Mmm. Again, very, very sweet. And the chocolate flavor is not very pronounced. Very rich, kind of dairy, and a little bit dry in consistency, but not bad. Very, very sweet again. So I'm gonna have a little bit of coffee. <laughs> mm. Let's try another savory item, and these are called Pastoral Crisp. And these are tomato flavored puffed food. I hope they're this color, let's see. Oh no, they're not, look. They smell like soup. Mmm. Nice kind of airy crunch. And in terms of flavor, it does taste a bit like soup bouillon with a slight sweetness to it. Mm -hmm. And in terms of texture, it's kind of like a cross between a Triscuit and a corn puff. I definitely taste MSG, that kind of sweet, salty, elusive, yummy flavor. But the general flavor is of soup bouillon. It tastes just like vegetable soup with just the tiny, tiny, almost indiscernible amount of heat in the very, very back of the throat. Nice. Mm, last thing I'm gonna try is this one. And this is a, another sweet, and it's called Cofitos. Oh, it's double wrapped. How interesting. I've never seen a candy that's been wrapped twice before. Oh, triple wrapped. <laughs> Look. Oof, it's like a card candy and it's shaped like a coffee bean. Mmm. That's great. Very, very similar to some coffee candies you can find in Japan, actually, that are also hard, like this as well. Nice. Nice and sweet, milky, and great little bitter coffee flavor to it. Delicious. Mm-hmm. I like that a lot. Those are scrumptious. These are lovely. I really, really like those. Really great, intense coffee flavor with sugar and a little bit of milk. Just great. All right, so that wraps up my little taste of Rwanda. Miss B, thank you so much for sending me all of these wonderful treats and for making me beautiful Winston. He is just marvelous. Thank you. <laughs> and thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoy that one. I hope you guys learned something. Don't forget to share this video with your friends. Follow me on social media. Subscribe, like, and I shall see you in my next video. Toodaloo. Take care. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.